So, hello YouTube, hello Electric Riders, Maxi here. Yeah, today, don't freak out, don't freak out guys. First up, I have a mission to do here. <laughs> this is my electric skateboard, uh, inertia, and special about this is a weight of 10 kilograms, and it has a max output of 3000 watts on the real wheels man so this is pretty badass compared to weight to power ratio is uh, comparable to the Energica entire motorcycle gear from top to the bottom On the street with the Energica, yeah, ride Energica every day. <laughs> so cool, man. R1 and this one, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm just guessing. Yeah. So yeah, I thought today, why not uh, go somewhere and have a break? Meanwhile, ride a little bit around in the area and do some Q&A because many people have questions and today I have nothing to do with the Energica, I just want to cruise around and yeah, why, why not do Q&A? Meanwhile, I joined this right here on the Swizzy Roads, pretty awesome because I watched, of course, I watched the Zero Land uh, all the time and he uploaded a new video today and I got inspired by that because yeah that topic between Zero, Energica and yeah, you know, they want to have beef, those guys. <laughs> and they tell you, you have to chill. And yeah, be honest, not be a fan. Being a fan can make you blind, you know. Because when you're a fan of your brand, you only see the bright side, the brave you in the world. And yeah, it's that you criticize your brand because you're a fan. It's the same with Ducati owners. Ducati, I get that spirit, I get that passion into this motorcycle, but sometimes the older uh, Ducatis had a, a lot of problems with, 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 yeah. When you ask Ducati owners, they say, no, it's everything, it's all right, it's, it's the best, and so they aren't honest they, because they are fans of those, those brands. And I say, don't be a fan of, of Energica or, or, or Zero or any other electric motorcycle brand, but being an enthusiast, that's okay. Supporting those brands, supporting their spirit going electric and pushing things forward, that's great. But don't be a fan, be criticizing, criticize, criticize. Hey, Energica, Livia, why don't you make a lightweight motorcycle? Be critical and say, you wish that, we want to have it. And say that, because yeah, you can, you can uh, say things in a, in a good manner, you know? Don't put bad emotions to it. Just saying what you want, uh, it's, that's okay. And yeah, on the Zero, my wishlist is pretty huge. <laughs> and also the Nerchika, there I have some wishlist, which, which would be nice if, 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 that were, if that would be possible. So enough trash talk, let's ride, man. <laughs> Enjoy the streets. You know that song, Killing Me Softly, uh, was, yeah, years ago. Now, the new cover version is Killing Me Silent. And it sounds like that. <laughs> Internal combustion, totally annihilated, dude. Here we are, got some nice place here. Enjoying the view. Awesome, man. Like this. Yeah, this suits way better. So. Yeah, New Zero Land. Who is it? Where is it?
Where's the video, Sam? Where's your video? Ah, I can't find it. This is, I need to talk about this. So every once in a while, someone goes on Facebook and posts saying, hey, I have a CBR 600 or R6 or insert 600cc sport bike, and I want to go electric. So they go to the Zero Owners Group to see what's a good replacement for their CBR. And the replies seem to come from another planet. Everybody thinks that Zeros are... Yeah, everyone will say, yeah, 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 go for the Zero, uh, zero SRS. This is an uh, electric sports bike. Ah, uh, come on. Really? This is about, we have to talk honest right now. Every way. Somebody um, even called it an electric superbike, which, come on guys. <laughs> Let's see, you're not even being realistic here. I lo okay, I love Zeros and I don't want to crap on them in this video because this, they are a lot of fun to ride, but they're not sport bikes. And aside from the acceleration, they don't compare to a CBR 600. And right now you guys are probably like, Shoot, <laughs> dude. But the Zero isn't a replacement for this guy. Yeah, this is what he talk about, and I look. I'm I'm t one of those guys. I had a horrible experience with zero motorcycles, and I never talked about. But yeah, when we talk about horrible experience, we can have it with any other internal combustion brand. Also, it's it's not zero dependent. It's not this brand is bad. <laughs> no, it's you can have it with any other. But I tell you. It's about the brands that are the motorcycle brands deal with it. I also had a problem with the Energica. It's how they deal with the problem and how customers care are. And what I talked about before, uh, don't be a fan. Just be enthusiastic and be critical to those brands. Because Sam also talked about it's it's not a sports bike, dude. <laughs> and even the Energica, it's it's... It's an awesome, superb electric motorcycle uh, and has absolutely racing DNA. But on the other ha on the other side, yeah, peace, dude, peace again, <laughs> peace. <laughs> yeah, on the other hand, this, this it's very heavy, and if you compare it to to to, to the R1 or, or CBR, whatever, come on, those bikes are fast under circumstances when you have tight corners because just it's lightweight. You can brake even harder and, and, and go faster through corners. It's about the weight. And I don't say Energica is the perfect motorcycle. It's not the best of the best. And if you look to the economic aspects, it's pretty cheap to run. It's, it's fucking cheap. But let's be honest, man. It's, every bike has his plus or minus. We kind of talk about, uh, yeah, pollution and and, and health issues uh, about internal combustion. Come on, the, they never talked about. They're not honest. If if they would be honest, they would say, "Hey, come on, this 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 uh, this internal combustion bullshit. It harms our health." And kick it. It's 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 not the right technology for our century. And no. Nah, meanwhile, they talk everything is 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 good. And yeah, yeah, it's it's. Uh, it's everything is, is, is awesome, uh, uh, you know. Now, nah, just be honest, it's bullshit. I like an R1, I like a uh, BMW double R, but I don't like the exhaust. <laughs> just be honest, it's it's bullshit. Change it, come on. And you see, those brands also struggle with made an electric motorcycle possible. And yeah, that's the downside. They can't do it. They are not. They are not good as Energica. Energica is is the leader in that field. Whatever. So whatever. Enough wisdom of Lexi. <laughs> now, let's jump to those uh, question section stuff. And by the way, I want to say thank you for all those subscribers really sticking to my channel. And they literally watch every video I upload from the from the beginning to the end. Uh, really, thanks for uh, for you guys. You making me, yeah, motivating me to uh, to making more videos and and giving me yeah giving me questions which topic I should I should do. So thanks for that. So Shankly Seven wrote me some comment here. What language do you speak? Uh, my wife and I have a bet going. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, dude, I told you I will I will unveil it in in the further video. It was day five when I go with those girls to the Energica or a motorcycle meet this wall on the, on the hill. And yeah, we, we was talking German uh, because she is from Germany. And yeah. So, guy, I hope you don't lose the bet against your wife. <laughs> really? I hope, I hope you made it and you win this bet. 
it's German. So thanks for your comment here. And let's go to, on to the next one. Ah, uh, yeah. One of those hardcore subscribers is also the doctor. He writes me constantly comments. Thanks to you, guy. Really uh, motivating. And thanks for your comments and watching my videos constantly, supporting my channel. And yeah, you should edit subtitles. You know, I do every day a new video. And the subtitles is so time uh, intense to do. Uh, so just skip it. I hope, yeah, you enjoy the content anyways. Yeah, Sam also wrote me a comment. Don't be energetic. I have the option to have a GPS on screen. Haven't looked into it, but that was possible. Great idea. So this is not guessing. I know that from the dealer. Those energetic, as we know, uh, at this time is the has older software or or yeah, and. This was based on, on, on the model on 2014, which has a Bluetooth connection. And that for this time, back in the back a few years, this was absolutely top electronics, man. <laughs> and now Energica considered to uh, probably uh, offering this year, end of this year or next year, um, the, the option you can have uh, GPS and network connection. So, you can watch wherever you are on your mobile phone, the charge, the state of charge, even the motorcycle is far away, no Bluetooth connection at all. If you go out having some beer or t uh, two, three, four or ten beers and next day you don't know where you left your Energica, you can watch on your mobile phone where is your the location of your motorcycle. And there will come other, um, I don't know more, more details, will you have... Uh, Netflix on your Energica front screen or not. I don't know, but they will add some more functionality as an upgrade. That's the information I have so far. So this is the latest information I get, but I don't know when they will release it. Demoni696 left me a cool comment. It's, uh, it's a German subscriber. <laughs> yeah, this is the German uh, sense of humor. Really cool. Yeah, here's some uh, comment. Uh, it's German and he asking, you're from Switzerland, why you don't do videos in German? Um, straight tell you, it's... Look, Switzerland is Switzerland. It's pretty small. And if I were to do Swiss-German content, the Germans wouldn't understand our slang, uh, Swiss-German. So I would have 5 to 10 subscribers at max, tell you. If I would talk German, it would sound so ridiculous because Germans would hear that. I have I have a, a Swiss German accent. It sounds so ridiculous. And be honest, electric vehicles are a global topic, and I want to have a global audience. Uh, yeah, want to share my experience. I want to share my excitement for electric vehicles, not only in Switzerland, Germany, and Austria, where they would understand. I, I consider if I would do some German content in the future, maybe one year, one video per month, just in German. Meanwhile, yeah, just I'm considering. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know in the comment. I knew people who that's it on the wish list, really. Uh, yeah. So here is a question from how is his name? Sorry. This, this is one of those comments I don't answer uh, normally because I'm not the tech engineer of Energy Guy. And if I would say you some, if you, if I would say something, maybe that would be wrong or not absolutely correct. And please ask Energy Guy or your next dealer straight. Is you have, so you will have a professional, proper answer, and not some yeah. I have not internal knowledge of all those details, you know. Here is some uh, interesting opinion from Darren Dons. Dons, Don, Don, yeah, whatever, you know, <laughs> you see it. Uh, he says to warm up the battery gives you a higher power output since the battery has less resistance at higher temperatures. Dude, yes. Um, when we talk about uh, physics and stuff, this is correct, but when battery heats up, the battery degradation uh, goes faster. So Energica or the BMS on the uh, Energica Ego is very, very, very conservative. And 
uh, those batteries will have the best performance, uh, 50, 60, 70 degree, but it's not possible to run it uh, that high temperature because Energica restricts the power if it heats up just to prevent degradation. So it's, it's, it's a racing motorcycle, but they want to make it reliable over years. And I can show you some. Uh, the next few days, I do a, a charge for 0 to 100. After 30,000 kilometer, the capacity, you will be surprised how good the remaining capacity is after 30,000 kilometer. Ah, uh, yeah. Here, a very good question from the doctor. Again, the doctor. <laughs> you see, this is the hardcore subscribers. Thank you for your comment and for watching my video. For uh, Thank you for the support. Does, uh, how does the Eagle work in wintertime? Is there any issue? Yeah, I tell you, the biggest issue is traction. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, cold tarmac and, and tires doesn't work together. You have to ride really, really conservative, not losing grip. And of course, you have less range. On the Zero motorcycle, I had 20 to 30% uh, less range because the operating power uh, voltage is lower. It's uh, around 100 volts. Um, average, yeah. Fully charged is higher. Uh, empty is lower. And the Energica has a higher voltage, operating voltage. So you have less resistance. Even more amps, even more resistance. So when it's uh, on, on cold weather, uh, I talk about below 10 degrees Celsius or 5 degrees Celsius. Uh, when you can't ride uh, on the streets with a sports bike, but you have no, yeah, you're just easy commuting. Um, on the Energica, it's five to ten percent less range. It's, it's quite, yeah, it's it's, it's a great difference. So, if you calculate ten percent less range, you're safe in in winter times. <laughs> so yeah, enough trash talk here. For those people who are, who are asking constantly about the regen, you see it? Downhill, it goes really slow. That's it. No brake at all. That's the regen downhill. It's pretty strong. <laughs> That's also a very frequent asked question. How's the regen? And you can adjust the regen uh, from nothing to very, very, very uh, strong. So you don't need any brake. For an emergency brake, you need it. Of course, uh, you need the front brakes. Or when you ride really sporty, you need the front brake. But like this. You don't need it, free hand, you know. So whatever, this is the end of the video. I just leave the camera on, you can enjoy the ride. But basically this is the end uh, of this nonsense, of this Q&A stuff, talking crap all the day. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it and poof, Lexi out. <laughs>
Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, little cutie. Come on. Yeah, yeah, they will run over you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, so cute. Don't cross in the street. This is dangerous, man. Yeah, have a good one.